Okay, so there are two outer uh, fusion core domes here. This one is more consistent with the actual stage set, and I've got that on there now just because I don't want these to break. And uh, this one is more consistent with the actual studio model. I don't know that you have to glue either one in, so you may be able to just change between them with relatively ease. They snap in pretty well overall. So, for purposes of not damaging this one, I'll definitely go and work with the regular studio stage one. There we go. So I shot this uh, ring here with Rust-Oleum's frosted glass, and this stuff really kicks ass. It seems a little textured on the back, so I don't know if that was actual dust that got in there or not. There's a little bit of sparkling going on here too, so I'm going to hit this with a few more coats and see how that goes. But basically that drops in real nice and easy. Then the way I built this was... I put a piece of paper over this area here, made an impression of the overall size, transferred that to styrene and cut a donut so that would fit on here, and it's close. And then if I had actually had quarter inch strips of this styrene, I would have been really happy, but I actually hand cut all of these, and uh, there's a lot of them, 32, 34, 36, somewhere in there. I'm not going to bother counting them now. One for every one though, 32 or 36. And it fits in there pretty well. I initially had really long uh, strands coming into here, but I had to cut those back because I know any fusion core that does fit in here is going to need most of this circle space. So uh, it could definitely be a tight fit and we'll see if this uh, really works at all. But essentially what I'm thinking it's going to do is by isolating every single one of the uh, lights as much as possible it's going to give a much different effect than uh, if you don't block it off so uh, let's drop this in here let's see if I can get it roughly lined up something like that and we'll tape it down into place now keep in mind that the two fusion cores I do have on hand aren't necessarily going to fit this right away that is not a fault of those products whatsoever this is just a natural uh, step along the test phasing way so that looks pretty good so far and I think this one will fit better so we'll take a look at it first This is the Tenna Control Module. And it looks like this is actually going to fit pretty well, just as is. I would clearly have to manipulate a few lines of the LEDs. No, nope, maybe not. There. Damn, that's uh, perfect. Let's uh, see how this looks with the included battery. Alright, so this is pretty much centered that definitely gives a much more uh, specific effect and in this particular case it's going to require positioning the LEDs precisely I'm probably misting over this back a little more too let me turn the light off here definitely looks nice on the camera there so if it's showing up there's a few cases where you can see the individual LEDs 
And you can definitely see their circles by looking at the uh, fronts here. So if these were set a little further back, uh, that would definitely be uh, great for this little technique here. But overall, this can definitely be worked with. The lights can be made dimmer by putting a couple resistors on the battery path or anywhere else. The LEDs themselves can be uh, sandpapered and that will give a more diffuse glow. And then actually putting possibly a strip of white styrene in between. Let's see if I can even just test that real quick. Without a lot of hassle, I should have said. That's uh, a little too large a piece. slow this down a little That definitely looks nice. And I expect every core is probably pretty much going to react the exact same way. This one kind of wants to stay in here. No real safe way to grab this at all.